Joining us today on this momentous day are Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of National Defense, Mr. Mariusz Błaszczak, the U.S. Am Ambassador to Poland, His Excellency Mr. Mark Brzeziński, U.S. Army Fifth Corps Commanding General, Lieutenant General John S. Kolaszewski, and many other distinguished guests and officers. Nocno-Atlantyckiego, a nasi żołnierze, żołnierze polscy. To a full United States Army garrison highlights the significant. Rosja napadła na Ukrainę, kiedy Rosja próbuje odbudować imperium. Bardzo ważne jest to, żeby świat zachodni był zjednoczony, żeby świat zachodni czuł się bezpieczny, a czuje się bezpieczny wtedy, kiedy nasze siły zbrojne ze sobą współpracują. I przykładem takiej ścisłej współpracy jest właśnie utworzenie garnizonu US Army w Poznaniu. Russia has invaded Ukraine. Russia is trying to rebuild its empire and it's important now, actually very important now, that the Western world stands united and feels safe and it will feel safe when our armed forces will cooperate together and this is an example of our exceptional close cooperation, especially today, while inaugurating the US Army garrison in Poland. I'd like to thank Poland who have been such gracious hosts to the American troops here during this time of crisis. We are shoulder to shoulder with you for your freedom and ours. Today's activation ceremony is a tangible reminder of the growth in our relationship. United States Army Garrison, Poland, is a visible commitment of the U.S. to European security and to the people of Poland. We're at the beginning of the stages of, of something that's truly significant here in Poland, the establishment of our garrison. That is step number one. A lot that took to get to this level, you know, getting synchronized with MCOM Europe, making sure that we had all the, the available uh, resources to be able to execute this. So today is the first step in a long process that, uh, as a garrison gets established, it doesn't happen overnight. But it's uh, incredibly humbling to know that our people have been, our, you know, our teammates from uh, our team have been working hard to make this a reality and, and just it, it's great that it's finally come together at that stage where we can now focus on how do we improve it from this point on. Part of it is, is building the actual uh, table of distribution and allowances. That's a fancy word to say bringing people, hiring people. The Army has authorized us to hire 140 civilians that will be coming to Poland here and spread throughout the sites as well as hiring you know uh, people that will focus on uh, are the critical aspects of, of the function of this garrison. Some of those positions are very important. Uh, having a senior civilian at each of the sites is important because they can be our eyes and ears and really to address any issues that come up. So building that garrison, hiring people, which is a big challenge, that is step number one. Well, interesting that you asked that because I work very closely with our host nation counterparts. In this space, uh, Camp Kuskusko is Colonel Dombrowski. Him and I are synchronized every day on anything that needs to be worked on in this installation. And there are a lot of projects ongoing here, but we have projects ongoing throughout all the other sites. And those are all, Poland has pledged a significant amount of infrastructure and support services that we're working to implement. Uh, Polish provided infrastructure is what you're looking at. Building 28 is one of those buildings that was provided, these other buildings as well. But the logistics service, the food service, for example, laundry service, transportation, those are all things that Poland has pledged, and it's our job to leverage those so that we can be responsible with taxpayer dollars, U.S. taxpayer dollars, because Poland has agreed to fund a lot of uh, our, our presence here. Well, I'd like to just say that this is, again, the beginning of, of something that's going to be enduring. 
I have worked very closely with MCOM E and all the other garrison commanders in Europe to learn some, some of the lessons of what works and what doesn't work. But our primary focus right now is establishing those procedures, but also establishing those local relationships. There are a lot of people here from the local community that are leaders from the business, uh, in hospitality industry, political leaders, that it's important for them to see what we're trying to do here. So thank you very much for, for your time and for being here, for what you do as well.